Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I want to show you the new Google Pixel launcher that just recently leaked. So the Google Pixel launcher released along with a new wallpaper application as well too. I'm gonna to show you to you here on my Nexus 6P. Now this is what's supposed to be coming out with new Pixel phones and rumored names is gonna be Pixel. They're gonna be dropping the Nexus name um, from the branding of their own personal phones. I'm gonna be calling Pixel going forward. So this is what we're gonna see in terms of an interface. Um, I'll leave the link to where I downloaded this in the description below. Um, you can do this at your own risk, obviously not telling you directly to do it, but if you wanna try and give this a shot and sideload these, this is what you'll be able to kind of test out. So as you can see here, this is the main home screen. You can notice some differences already here with it. One of them being that if you look here at the top, there is a permanent calendar uh, sort of date icon up there. That's not actually a widget. Like if I actually go up there and try to put something on top of there, you can't actually move that away. That date's gonna always be up there. So that's one thing to notice. And then you also notice there isn't sort of a search bar here at the top that you normally see. You have a little Google tab. Now if you tap on a tab, it does bring up the search options here that you can just kind of go through and, uh, and, and do your search and do what you normally would do. But it doesn't have that at the top. And that's also permanent as well too. So you can't move that or uh, slide that anywhere else. You also notice I can't get to Google Now here on the, on the side. That's just because this isn't a system app, uh, loaded as a system app yet. If it's loaded as one, you'll be able to swipe up, to, swipe over to the side there and get to Google Now. That'll be in the final version of this, so no worries on that. Now, one of the first things you notice here, there isn't an app drawer. Well, there is an app drawer, but there isn't an app button to sort of get and tap onto it to get quickly to your applications. You just have shortcuts right here. Now, the way you get to your applications now is you swipe up, and the menu will come from the bottom here, which is pretty, actually pretty nice animation. You kind of swipe up like that, and it kind of goes like that. You can also tap on a little arrow right there, and it'll pop it up for you there as well too. And we'll take a look here. You can notice that you have at the top here your most recently used applications. You also have an ability to search for apps there at the top and, and such, and you can see it's actually pretty responsive in terms of uh, uh, scrolling between applications and such. Kind of can go through pretty quickly. You can also, at the side there, sort of go between letters if you want to. So you can go to specific letters and kind of go there so you kind of know where you're searching between. You can also search within apps, within your app thing, apps, within your app drawer right here to be able to get to it. We'll go ahead and hit back out of there. We'll actually uh, go in here, we'll tap on there, we'll go to settings. I can show you some of the settings that you have on here. You have your app suggestions, which I believe that'll maybe suggest apps from the Play Store. I've seen that in other uh, ROMs as well too, other UIs such as HTC, so it's pretty interesting they built that in. You can show Google Apps to uh, swipe, swipe left from the home screen. That'll be able to be done, like I said, later on when it's finally finished. And you can allow home screen to rotate as well too, so you can have it like this if you want to you know, on the home screen. You also, you also notice a couple of different things here. You can see that the uh, folder icons have sort of changed a little bit. You sort of get a small little preview into what's inside of there, like sort of like the first four applications, sort of preview there within it. It's pretty easy to make folders. You still do the same thing as before. Let's drag and drop the Play Store. Let's drag and drop the uh, Gmail app on there, and you can see that the icon gets made. You can move folders right down here at the bottom if you want to. And you can easily remove that, and you're back to your normal, back to your normal uh, non-folders if you don't want to have it to be a folder. You can customize the bottom of this as you want to. You can also add uh, tabs and uh, different home screens as well too. Now the way to do that now is actually, you hold down on any icon, and if you go to the left here, you bring it up here, and then, then at that point it will appear, so you have another home screen that you can add stuff to. And that's kind of how you do each home screen and how you add things on. As soon as you remove an icon from it, actually before we do that, well let's add another one here. Go here to swipe, add another one, and then I can show you that from here, you can, we can reorganize these if you want to. So if you want this one to be over here on this side, you can switch that out. So you can switch all your home screens out as you want to. And we go ahead and hit back home here. Now, if you want to get rid of one, all you got to do is remove the applications from it. And then you see how that moved right back. And we'll actually put this back down here. And now we're back to that one main home screen that we had before. So that's sort of navigating around the new UI there. And it's pretty slick so far. I actually like this app drawer portion right here, be able just to swipe right from the bottom. I, th I think that's pretty cool. Something I think I would like in, in just in basic stock Android. Now, another thing that they've changed here is the wallpapers. We'll go into that here. I've added the wallpaper app as well. And what they've done here is that they've added sort of sections of different types of wallpaper. So the one I actually choose to is uh, Cityscapes. And you'll be able to see different uh, landscapes and different uh, 
So the buildings and stuff like that. And what you can actually do here, let's take a look one here. This one I think has a blood moon in the background. It looks like, yep, it kind of does there. And what's pretty cool is that you'll see here at the bottom who, the, who took the photo. And if you hit explore, it'll actually open up Google Maps or if it's available on Google Maps, if not, it goes to 500px.com to sort of show you where the photo is. Some of these here will go to that. I'll actually just grab one here. Let's take a look at, or I think Earth will do that. Yep, if we go to Earth here and we'll take a look at where this rocks, where they took that picture, we hit Explore, it's Iceland. It'll take you directly to that location, right to where they took that photo, which is pretty cool. And you can zoom out and come right out and see that they're in Iceland. That's pretty cool there. And um, you can do that for a few others. You can also, what's pretty cool is you can do what's called a daily wallpaper, which I actually have set up here. If you tap to turn this on, it will uh, download new, uh, new backgrounds sort of throughout the day and it'll change your background daily, which is something I really like. I used to actually use a different application for that. And I actually really am glad they kind of, kind of look like they're adding this to the uh, UI and just be able to kind of rotate your background. Cause I always feel like a different background each day. And, not having to choose that just kind of gives me something cool and it'll format and fit well into your screen. It's a pretty nice feature to have. So I like that they did that. And we head back out here and you can see here, you can see daily wallpaper, which one that you have. And I hit explore, it'll take me out to it. Or it'll go to 500px.com, looks, looks, looks like where they're sourcing it. But that's uh, pretty much it in terms of the pixel sort of UI, sort of this launcher here. It's pretty nice, I, I would say. It's um, a little bit more than stock Android, obviously. It's got a little bit of customization to it, but it seems like going forward, this is where they're gonna be going. I really like the way this afterwards sort of slides up. I think this is a pretty cool feature they should kind of add across the board. I think a lot of people will like that. But uh, so far, I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, you can test it out. Like I said, I've left the uh, download links in the description of this video. You can check it out there. I'm not saying you have to, but do it at your own risk. If you know how to silo applications, you can definitely do that there. And we'll just have to wait and see when we get the Pixel phones and see how well people receive this. So that's pretty much it. This is Bowman here from BW1. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, share it around if you think it'd be useful for someone else. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on all our social network. The link to all that is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.